This is the final bonus tutorial on our series on SOAP with Spring Web Services. In this lesson, we will learn how to use Spring Boot to create a working SOAP endpoint web service. Since we already learned how to create a SOAP endpoint using the Maven archetype for Spring Web Services, we will reuse our XSD insurance service document as well as our insurance service interface and implementation classes and our existing SOAP endpoint class from our previous lectures. Let's have a look at our step-by-step -step process for creating a SOAP service with Spring Boot. First, we will create our Spring Boot project using the Spring Initializer from inside IntelliJ. Then we will create the relevant classes or POJOs that we need to interact with our SOAP endpoint using the JAXP2 Maven plugin and our existing insurance service XSD document from our previous SOAP with Spring Web Services lesson. We will reuse our insurance service interface and implementation class from our previous lesson. We will also reuse our insurance SOAP endpoint class from our previous tutorial. We will create a configuration class that will define all our Spring Beans inside Java code using at annotations. Remember that when we use the Maven archetype, it created a Spring Servlet.xml configuration file where we defined our Spring Beans. Finally, we will make the generated Spring Boot application class runnable and run the Spring Boot SOAP web service application inside IntelliJ. Step 1. Creating our Spring project with the Spring Initializer inside IntelliJ. File New. Project. We select Spring Initializer. We select a default location and our 1.8 Java SDK. Next. Select Next. Enter our group and artifact ID. Select Next. We will select the Spring Web Services in our dependencies because that provides us with the SOAP API. We will select next and update our project name and location. Select finish. We will open it in a new window. Enable auto import and let's have a look at what was generated for us. We've got the project structure, the Maven POM file with the starter web services, starter test, and the Spring Boot Maven plugin. We've got a SOAP server application that was generated for us, and the SOAP server application test as well. And now we have our template to start implementing our insurance SOAP endpoint. Now in the next step, we will generate our POJO classes from our insurance service XSD using the Maven JAXP2 plugin. Now we've already did this in our previous Spring Web Services example, so that should be pretty easy. But let's have a look at our POM file. So we're going to add the Maven plugin in here. So we'll go back to our original Spring Web Service project. This is our original Spring Web Services project from our previous tutorial. So we'll just cut and paste the plugin from that project into our Spring Boot project. Here we are back in our Spring Boot SOAP server project. So we'll paste in the JXP2 Maven plugin here. As we see in our original 
example, we use the web INF, and since this is not going to be a web project, we will put it back in the traditional source main resources directory, which was already generated for us with application properties. Now we got to copy our insurance service.xsd that we generated in our previous tutorial. Back to our original Spring SOAP web service endpoint example. So what we're going to do now is copy the insurance service.xsd and we're going to copy it into our Spring Boot SOAP web service example. Here we are back in our Spring Boot example. And since we have set it up to look at the source main resources directory, we will copy it in here. And that is our insurance service.xsd copied. Now let's see if we can actually generate the POJO classes using Maven. Clean package. It looks like it generated it for us and it ran some spring application tests. So let's have a look in the target directory. Here is our generate of classes. So that looks good. This concludes this tutorial where we looked at the first couple of steps in generating a SOAP service with Spring Boot. We'll go on with the next steps in the next video.